Blessed be. Today is July 21st, and it is National Craft for Your Local Shelter Day. Celebrated July 21st every year, and it calls on crafters to help provide low-cost methods to help with shelter cats and dogs. And I love this. Um, I'm a big fan for helping support our shelters um, in any community. And there was one year where I did get to participate in this. It wasn't necessarily for this holiday, but I got a DIY bug to make uh, braided dog toys out of t-shirts. So, you know, there is a certain point where some of the t-shirts are past wearing. And so I actually did a collection at work and asked all my co-workers if they wanted to donate t-shirts and set up to do like, you know, like a four strand braid and just stripped them out and made a whole bunch of pull toys for dogs and donated probably about a hundred to the shelter. Um, this was a couple years ago, so wouldn't be a bad idea to come up with something soon because it's a holiday. Here we are, awareness. Now it's to the top of my mind and it's for a good cause. At work this week, been getting to do back some of the fun stuff with drafting, um, cleaning up uh, the next uh, revision of one of my ongoing projects. So that was fun. That's been about it. I want to, what I need to do is focus on learning about the company structure since it's been, since we've gone through the acquisition and, you know, they're moving around, you know, what department people are in, who reports to who, who's in charge of what. And the way I'm seeing it is there's really nobody in charge of the drafting itself. You know, like the drafting as a component. And so it, it's almost like there's an opportunity there to see if I could really pull a proposal together and present that I feel a company with a drafting department of this size could really benefit from having the CAD manager and break down what is their responsibilities and duties, which I don't know, um, pay range, I don't know, um, making sure, you know, will I get buy-in and support from those above to ensure that the department itself Follow along with new ideas and implementations. I mean, it's definitely a concept that's well out of my experience to kind of answer these questions and put something together, but I'm trying. Um, putting down notes right now, like, you know, making a proposal, you know, how do I reach out to HR? Because what I'd like to do is find out about, like, you know, making sure, is this a position even in the company? And if not, how does that really get created? You know, to find out the real logistics of it. You know, because I think having that kind of information would be really useful if you're going to present it to someone to say, hey, create a position, because you're going to want to give them the action steps they need to take which is the true answer of how to create that position because you want to make it as easy as possible for the person who makes that decision to take action. So that's it for now. That's the little project kind of just burning in my head and I'm really trying to take some action on it, taking notes, Figuring out, it's like, what is the next step? Who's the right person to ask what to? What do I need to ask? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, 
like to hear more entries into the CAD Witches Grimoire, don't forget to hit subscribe. And until next time, Merry Meet, Merry Part, and Merry Meet Again.